number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427. What is even happening anymore? It's Always just... Came to him through a monitor. One day, something very peculiar happened. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Something he would never this is so bizarre. I, I I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. That's what this game is. Unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. What now? What? All of his co-workers were gone. What happens now? Can I? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Who? What happens Stanley now? Let's go. The bucket. Is it just gonna stay like this forever? Is this just how it is now? This is the hardest choice I've ever had to make in my entire life. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, <laughs> telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. But it has a jump circle on it. Nope. It was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this no? Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Where am I going? He took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. <laughs> the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go. <laughs> Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. Okay, I'll listen what to the bucket. To do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was. Stopped. Absolutely not. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. <laughs> Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced what is going on there? Wait, what? That's a collectible over there. There's a, there's a collectible. Okay. In here. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. I mean, I obey all buckets. Buckets are trustworthy. Now pick up the phone. Sorry, bucket. Oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist <laughs> the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a... Oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. <laughs> did I mess up the joke? <laughs> what is he... What is going to happen now? I don't know how this game is going to continue on. Exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully. Oh, wait, yes, there is. What? Is there replacing the video with the. What is. <laughs> what is comedic. This is the greatest callback of all time. How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence. Oh my god, they just. And more importantly. What the heck? They, they're calling back, like, the, uh, how to be a functioning human being bit from the original game. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit, with one of your arms raised straight upward at a degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, <laughs> including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the <laughs> Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds <laughs> and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. <laughs> when the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny. <laughs> I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, 
it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rat they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey I don't is even paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these that's studies, all there is. I got it now. I stop laughing at some point. You gut busting little scam. After all, you know, this just makes me upset because now I know that fight the twelve legged invaders who threaten our very existence and are very likely die in a hailstorm of uh, all of us must You know, it makes me so sad to know that I will never make something as entertaining as this game. Okay, cool, awesome. Oh, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Oh, outdated? This happened in the past? The fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Yes, we will do that. So, like, so far this route has kind of been a mirror of the... Er the route that followed the same steps in the original game. In the original version, you would have all of this except for the fact that um, when you did that, it would give you a video on how to be a proper human and how to make choices. But someday, one of these doors is gonna open. Someday. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the oh, door whoops. leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this was all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely done and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every hmm. one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you oh, I'm stuck. Me down, Stanley. Are you proud? Oh no, it's going to do the same thing as the original version of this route. You ready? <clears throat> it's going to keep looping in on itself. Two open doors. Crap. The door on the left. Ah, frick. Oh. Oh no. This is new, actually. That's not what was. That's not what happened originally. Okay. New content. Let's go. No, you are like the highest joke telling whelp. No, not a third time. Uh oh. Hey, it's the same thing. It's as though all of your <laughs> most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. That's That's it. <laughs> That's the Stanley Parable. Oh my god, what even? There are so many nuances in this. It's literally insane. I could I'm going to be playing this for many hours. Because if all of these alternate Stanley Parable 2 things, like, continue, like, if, if I play, if I go through different routes in the Stanley Parable 2 and they are different than their original counterparts, this is going to just be insane. There's so many things to do. I want more instructional videos. They're very good. Can I unlock, like, an instructional video library? That'd be fun. Okay, we're still in the Stanley Parable 2. What now? Bucket broom closet ending. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. Oh my god. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is. Yes. You know, I understood the... I understood the broom closet's message the whole time. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. Which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. 
Here we go. Oh, nice. No more debate, no more discussion. Take a hype broom closet. Yeah. Meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Okay, is that it? That can't be it. If it is it, I'm gonna go. All right, I've got a second sticker there, <laughs> and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. Okay, it seems like the executive bathroom might be open at all times now. Oh! Found one of one I of found one! Figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure. These are actually going to be everywhere. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, See, because I saw another one. I just don't know how to get them. You come across one or I just don't know how to get it. I saw another one at the, uh... In the catwalk cargo lift area. Oh, man, I'm finding a lot of these. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Yeah. Oh, what about Stan Lorene's? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stan Lorene under your belt. Love the Stan, Stan, Stan Lorene. This ending, because I feel like with the bucket, this one's really going to change. Again, this is probably incredibly confusing for anybody who hasn't played the original Stanley Parable. But this is what takes you to a Stanley Parable museum that was not shot. Stanley in the bucket still had every opportunity that outlines the development and creation of it. And I feel like that's just going to be changed for alternate rocks in the first place. And with the bucket, I feel like this is, could get really weird. Which is what I'm looking forward to. Painful death, here I come. Yay! We Whoa, that's some serious graphical improvements there. Here we go. Hooray. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley and the bucket were <laughs> and the bucket, yeah. Metal drawers. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end. As it was crushed violently. What about mine? <laughs> there wasn't always a catwalk here, was there? Was Wait, no, this was here. Okay. Magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are. Yep. All right. That's new. Am I going to the bucket museum now? Oh. My God. Only one game would dedicate literally half of itself to a single joke. And to claim it for his own, can you see the hubris that- 25 buckets. Nah, I'm a- I, I would call myself a big bucket fan right about here. This is a- this is a solid bucket museum right here. Big fan. <laughs> hey, look, it's the infinite hole! We Oh. I just grabbed the bucket. I just grabbed the bucket. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him Well, I think that was going to happen anyways, actually. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another I'll save the bucket, jeez. That's my plan. That's my plan. <laughs> I 
All right, good times with the bucket. Okay, that's where I'm going to leave it for the Stanley Parable. This is a fantastic game, and I don't want to spoil any more if you have still not decided to purchase this game for yourself. So, I will not be continuing with this. And even if I said I did, I probably wouldn't, because when have I ever finished an installment, or a series, or... I taught good. But that is where I'm going to leave it for the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Sorry, I don't upload often. See ya. Never mind, I just saw a flyer. Figurine, figurine finders committee uh, in the meeting room. Figurine finders. I gotta get the figurine finders. Gotta get the figurine.